All right. Initially, initial means relating to the beginning of something. So initially means first, okay? Um, <clears throat> the people moving to the West was just a trickle. What's a trickle? Trickle is um, a slow movement, okay? Slowly flowing in small quantities. That's trickle, like trickling of water. You understand? Um, so this means um, the only a few people moved slowly, okay? The journey, journey is travel, traveling to a place. Uh, there were no railways in the sailing time to California in the days before the Panama Canal. Pan Panama Canal. What's a canal? Canal is a waterway, alright? A long stretch, a, a long narrow stretch of water through uh, along which a boat travels or where you um, send water to places. Do you understand? Panama Canal, where is this? Panama is in the, um, uh, what? The mid America. Here, do you see this? Panama. And if you see the Panama Canal, where is that? It's somewhere here. You understand? This, uh, can you see this? There somewhere, okay? So the Panama Canal is here. So when there were no railroads, okay, um, traveling um, on land was very difficult. And before the canal here uh, was built, they can go through here, all right? But before uh, there was a canal here, it took a long time to sail. Do you understand? Because you have to go around if there's no uh, canal, okay? <coughs> um, open, uh, before the canal opened, was measured in months. Measure means to um, discover a quantity, okay? Measured in months me means it took months to uh, do that um, journey, make that journey. And um, in 1848, everything changed, all right? And they um, discovered gold near San Francisco. Uh, it's in the West Coast also, all right? San Francisco in California, here. Do you see this? Yeah, San Francisco, right? Um, they discovered gold in San Francisco and people began flocking. What does flocking mean? Flocking means gathering. Flock is a group of birds, um, sheep, or goats, okay? And to flock somewhere means to uh, a lot of uh, a large number of people um, gathering somewhere because there's something interesting, okay? Um, and the gold rush uh, resulted in so because there was a gold rush, there was a large increase in the Western population. Um, the gold rush. What does rush mean? Rush means to move quickly, okay? And um, it increased the Western population. Many people found uh, gold, but some didn't. But they stayed there, all right? And they um, made businesses or farmed or raised their families there. That's what this part is about. Many people got uh, found gold, yet most did not. What does that mean, yet? Yet means but, but most didn't. But they stayed and established, okay? Business or farmed. It means to... Um, Farm means to uh, raise crops, grow crops or raise animals. In, in, in a farm is, is uh, the verb use of farm, okay? And raise their families. Raised means what? Means to uh, take care of the members uh, until they are um, fully grown. So what is this part about? This part is about um, when Lewis and Clark made their journey, there were only few people. The natives, white hunters and trappers, 
and the people who were moving at first was uh, just a few and the journey was difficult because there was no ro railways and the sailing time was very long taking months before the Panama Canal opened but um, in 1848 everything changed uh, men uh, there were gold di um, discovered in San Francisco so people gathered there all right and um, that uh, resulted in a population increase in the western um, area a lot a lot of people found gold but a lot didn't all right but they stayed there and did their business and farming let's go to the next part the land between California and the Mississippi okay um, there were not much migration, this moving of people um, between the land of uh, California and Mississippi, okay? Until after the Civil War, all right? Until the Civil War, there was a, only a few. And after the Civil War, the railroad, transcontinental means crossing the um, land, was completed and um, The fertile land became available. Okay, you can you could use the fertile land for farming. All right, okay. The land between California and the Mississippi did not see great migration. What does that mean? Did not see great migration. That means in that area uh, there was no great migration. Do you understand? That's what it means. See great mi a place seeing a great migration means that, okay? Until after the Civil War. What's a Civil War? Civil means uh, so relating to something that happens inside a country. You understand? Uh, civil War is um, the war between the groups of people inside a, a country rather than a war um, between countries. Do you understand? And um, Trans uh, the civil the ci when you say the civil war is the war um, between the northern part of the United States and the southern part of the United States. The northern part of the United States uh, eventually won that war. Okay, and um, President Lincoln has had um, freed the slaves. Okay, the northern. Um, United States, all right? When you think of the northern part, right? Um, commerce was popular, all right? Commerce, the businesses and industry, okay? Industry, um, manufacturing, okay? Making things, producing things in a factory was popular. But in the southern part, what was popular? Farming was popular, okay? And um, as a result, they needed slaves, okay? So the northern part um, had the policy of freeing all the slaves while, while the southern part um, had the policy of um, um, keeping the slaves, okay? But it's not because the northern part was, the people of the northern part was good and the southern part was bad, it's just because their needs were different, okay? Um, in the northern part, c commerce was popular and industry. Industry means making things in a, a um, factory, so not a, pe not a lot of people were needed, okay? They didn't need the slaves. So, <coughs> um, in order to get the votes from the black people or yes the, the black people okay they uh, so in order to be a popular party they um, they had that kind of policy all right to get the b votes not because they were good people do you understand okay 
Transcontinental. Trans means going from one side to the other. Crossing. You understand? Continental. What's a continent? Continent is a large uh, area of land which consists of many different countries. Okay. Um, the Transcontinental rail Railroad was completed and cheap and fertile land. What does fertile mean? Fertile means uh, the land has the substances, the uh, nutrients for the plants to grow well in a healthy way. Do you understand? Became available for farming. And the uh, people um, from the east and south to the west, okay, uh, came to seek, uh, to look for better and more fertile farmland. And um, the other people who moved to the west were immigrants, okay, coming from uh, European countries like this, okay. Um, some people who moved came from the east and south part, okay, and the others were the immigrants, that's what it is. And to seek, seek means to look for, look for better fertile farm, farmland. Immigrants, uh, people coming to a country from another country, uh, were coming from Italy, Germany, Poland, and Scandinavia. These are the um, countries in um, Europe, right? Where is Scandinavia? Scandinavia is the northern part of Europe. Uh, it's a peninsula and it consists of countries such as Norway, Sweden, Finland. Do you understand? Let's see. Scandinavia. This part is Scandinavia. Okay. Anyhow. Um, so, the wide open rich land, okay, attracted thousands of people, okay, um, to begin their new lives. Wide open rich land, what does rich mean? Rich means containing a lot of uh, materials which helps the plants to grow uh, well, alright? Drew, what does Drew mean? Drew means, uh, the base form is draw, right? Draw means to pull, attract, okay? Tens of thousands, that means 20,000 or 30,000, okay? But not um, 100,000 and not one, oh, not 10,000 either, you understand? Tens of thousands of people move to the Great open plains. What's a plain? Plain is a large flat land where there is only a few trees, okay? And, um, but the, uh, the fighting with the natives didn't uh, make them stop, okay? Nor the problems uh, between the farmers who wants to fence the land, their lands and the ranchers who wanted open land, okay? Armed clashes. What does armed mean? Um, if you arm someone, you give them a weapon, okay? Armed clashes. What's a clash? Clash is um, fighting, okay? Or the argu uh, uh, argument, okay? With natives didn't deter. What does deter mean? Deter means to make someone not want to do it, okay? And, uh... Not A nor B. What does that mean? It means not A and not B either. You want to say? Nor did. If you have nor, then you have to switch the um, positions of the um, verb and uh, the subject. So, so the verb comes first and the subject comes next, okay? 